right, welcome back. We've got another unboxing or unpackaging, uh, whatever you want to call it. You can see this one is DHL, so that means it's international. This one um, is from South Africa. Um, been a long time waiting for this one. Uh, so this company we heard about uh, a la our buddy uh, David on Fig Boot on pens. Love the Fig Boot. Um, this is Stanford Wood Studios from, out of South Africa. A, a couple, uh, Dave and Di, uh, own the company. He does the woodworking and she does the design work. Um, but they did a crowdfunding um, and started a new series of pins for that crowdfunding called the Impressionist Series. Um, so I will put, uh, right now I will put a, a picture of most of that series on the screen and uh, they uh, that was the initial offerings um, you can see they're all very kind of muted uh, soft colors but then they added this one uh, that we got um, towards the end so as you see here each pin comes with uh, a kind of a picture of the 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 painting uh, that it was based on this one is called uh, young woman in the mirror and there you can see kind of the painting the young woman in the mirror so this is the pen itself so we'll we'll end up there let's see what this is uh, so anyway they did a crowdfunding um, to finance I believe it was a new lathe uh, for for Dave to do his pens on um, and so that was the only way that you could get these pens initially um, uh, so we did that, um, and you can see this also was mentioned. It comes with a free bottle of ink that is made by their neighbor um, in South Africa, specifically for these kits. Far Road Fountain Pen Ink. The Gardens of Paris is the name of this green ink, so we'll probably ink it up with that, try it out. Um, so very cool, little nice cardboard box. Look at that. Personalized. Uh, I assume is a, a thank you note. Let's see. P.S. If you love your pen, please consider posting something. Well, hey, there we go. I will... Uh, they communicated very well. Um, we had a hiccup that I'll tell you about. They let us know about the delay um, and then also said, you know, your pen has been sent. Um, so there, this is the, the Impressionist series. And then that's the, this is a specific for this pen, young woman at the mirror. Uh, you'll see that there are beads um, on the pen, and we got a Bach number six rose gold plated medium nib. Um, that's some nice handwriting there, too, dear David. Thank you so much for supporting our crowdfunding campaign, Di and Dave. Cool. So here is the pen. Uh, so as I mentioned, there's a bit of a delay. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to rip the wrong thing here. Let's cut this. How about that? We'll cut this. Um, they said that they wanted uh, to get the pens out to people in July, but and we show. Oh, so this is like a. That's kind of neat, simple way to do it. This looks like just a plastic uh, tube uh, wrapped with the print. Um, that this is based on but uh, they, they mix their own resin so this is a resin pen with some inlaid beads which then they have to put a clear resin on top and they said while they were doing this it was winter in South Africa um, and it makes the resin uh, uh, slow and curing which can create more bubbles so here's the pen and you can see here are beads, inlay beads on this end and in the cap. And these are called Japanese Delica Pet Beads. Um, these are one of the few things, they order these and they order the nibs. Everything else is, is done by them. Like I said, they make the resin, they do the turnings, all of that. So there's the pen. 
Um, so what they were saying is in the winter time, uh, they have to, they do the resin, they shape the pen, then they make the grooves for the beads, they inlay the beads, and they have to do a clear resin. And when they did that clear resin, um, because of the slow curing, they got to be more bubbles in the resin, and some of the buzzled bubbles got trapped within the beads, and they didn't see it until they were doing the final polishing and had to just ditch a lot of what they had done, and it really delayed the project. Uh, so kudos on them for, you know, uh, good quality control um, and, and doing right by the folks that are supporting them. So just takes a basic international converter, which they included here. And so I was saying, so you, the, the uh, original set of uh, designs were the more muted pastel colors. Um, and then they added in this one for somebody that wants a more traditional pin. Um, and we just really like this one more. Put a, a close up kind of picture of this and the print up on the screen now. And then, uh, so I'll ink this up. And we'll be right back. All right, so she's all inked up. We did use the ink that came with it. Um, and you can see on the back here, handmade small batch in collaboration with Stanford Wood Studio. All right. So this is... Stanford Wood Studio... Now the name of this pen is fairly long. I know this is the name of the the artist, which I haven't pronounced because I'm pretty sure I will mispronounce it. And this is a Bach number six nib and again the ink color is the gardens of paris so this is uh nice the nib is nice and smooth um and i like the ink the ink you can see has got quite a bit of color variation um as you write so there you go thank you for joining us as their request as they said, please post something. So uh, I was saying they did they did email and track this all the way to L.A. We're up in the Bay Area, California, and said, you know, it should be there soon. Let us know when it comes. Uh, so I'll reply to them, give them a link to this uh, video, and I'll see you next time.